Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here for a 5 minute review on Varia's newest album, Oh Them Rivers, the EP. Alice in Chains made damn them rivers, and of course their music feels like a boulder being dropped at great height into a stream, but when it comes to the following artist, Varia, their approach is more subtle and easily flowing. Varia was suggested to me by another musician to check out what they had on offer, and to say that I was pleasantly surprised would be an understatement. There is just something so mesmerizing about the vocal styles of Vaya here that draws you in like a bead of honey and it sticks with you. This EP is a short affair with 7 songs at a runtime of under 30 minutes but is just so right that it brings you into a trance like state. I guess I know how Eleven feels now when she enters that sensory deprivation chamber because I feel like I'm floating on water with this music. It was all about us and now it's gone. According to the musician's Instagram page bio, they are an unknown woman exhibiting obscurity and perhaps this one sentence alone can best surmise the sentiments from this record. This album is their second effort and first in an 8 year gap, but I might be mistaken for what is only available on streaming platforms. The air of mystery that is prevalent adds to the enigma of the artist and of course the insightfully introspective abstract lyrics about pain and such are enthralling to hear. And I must give a shout out to the second song from this album, The Fight, which takes on an air of Nick Cave influences from his Skeleton Tree era. And I love Nick Cave. There are tunes here on offer that encompass a full band like, with of course the Open Rivers song, and yet give way to sections within the track that is just vocals and a guitar. And of course they are flawlessly executed. It's a bit of a masterclass in songwriting. I'm not quite sure how to describe Vaya's style of music. I mean, to be honest, it's not a style of music I often listen to, but they did tell me that their musical influence are from artists such as Radiohead, Agnes Obel, and Emily Wells, Aurora, and Ayala Diana, to name a few. I'm probably mispronouncing a few. But this should give you an idea of their styles of music. So, if you are looking for a more laid-back kind of record with some deep lyrics to dive into and dwell on, then ooh, oh, them rivers might be just the album for you. Who knows, maybe like me you might find it to be an album that is rather remarkable and a pure joy to listen to. Overall I'll give this album a score of 7.5 million chilies on the spicy scale with my favourite tracks being Fears, The Fight and Oh Them Rivers. Sombre music for the soul is perhaps the best way I can describe this record. While the journey is a short one, it is of course still an enjoyable effort by the musician and I can't highly stress the fact that you really need to go out and listen to her and get a real feel for her music. Here's to hoping that the next record doesn't have an 8 year gap. Thank you for checking out this episode of 5 Minute Reviews. If you've enjoyed it make sure to smash Smash that like button, subscribe to us for future music related content, and as always people, you have a great day and stay spicy. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listener Race, and if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listener Race, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.